This was a game where the Los Angeles Kings uh, dominated the neutral zone and took away the speed of the Edmonton Oilers. The second period was an absolute clinic. And as you watch, you see the back pressure by the Los Angeles Kings. And it's not only back pressure, the back pressure's there, and then when there's not back pressure, stop it right here. Hold it right here. You've got, this is a 1-3-1. One, one. And if you want, the Edmonton Oilers don't like to dump the puck in. Well, you're not gonna stick handle it through when you wanna dump the puck in. When you've got separation such as this, you pretty much have three guys in the blue, and you have separation, you're gonna dump the puck in, you're gonna have to get it up in the glass. If it stops, their D's gonna pick it up. Let this roll through. And this, they don't even get the chance to get the puck in deep. When the LA Kings turned the puck over here, they, they took it right. This is back pressure. This is pressure the puck. Get on the puck. Get on the puck. Anticipate where the play is going. Get on the puck. Hold the blue line. And the transition game to turn and move it up quickly was absolutely tremendous in this period. Again, here's McDavid. Get on McDavid. On the puck. And watch where their sticks are in most of these plays, Los Angeles Kings. Their sticks are on the ice. They're not up here. They're not hooking. Watch where their sticks are on the puck. It's stick on puck. Stop it here. Here's your stick. Stick on puck. Stick on puck. Sticks down. You get a stick on a puck, a player's gonna not gonna be able to stick handle through that because they're gonna they're gonna lose possession. Let this go through. Roll this through. Stick on puck. There's your turnover. Sticks are on the ice. Sticks are in the passing lanes. Again, excellent stick. Come in with the stick. There's another stick. Another stick on puck. There's your turnover at the blue line, and you're turning it the other way. We're gonna see it one more time. Great back pressure. Let's stop it here. This is this is anticipation. You're cutting you're cutting your ice pretty much in half. You're having your defensemen stand up, and this is where the Edmonton are, are the uh, Los Angeles Kings, I thought, in this game were tremendous. I think we're going to see it again against Edmonton in tonight's game. You cut your ice in half, and you flush a team to a position where you want them to run into your defensemen. Your defensemen are on the same half of the ice. You say, all right, we'll give you guys the right side of the ice. And as soon as they get to a point, let's say the center or the blue line, the far side closes that gap and runs the opposition into your defenseman. Let this roll through. And when they run into your defenseman, they have nowhere to go. And again, Edmonton isn't a team that necessarily wants to dump it in. And you try things. How about this play that comes up on McDavid? McDavid's going to grab the puck. And there's one stick. Great little, great steal. I'm sorry, that wasn't the McDavid one. But there's, there's uh, the stick. And this is just continue. Stick on puck. This is one of the McDavid. McDavid gets it. There's three sticks on him. Well, how about this, Arvidsson? A little force of the play again because the stick's on the ice. The mm -hmm. puck gets... You can't make a, yeah. a straight pass, and it bounces out of the zone. The ability for, you've got Koptar and Deneau, who could be in the Selkie Trophy every season, but their ability to track pucks from behind and play that team game, I think it was Cal Peterson was in goal. Yes, he was. In, in this game. I think afterwards he said, if we could bottle this game up mm -hmm. and play that way every night, we're going to win every game. That's why I keep saying when there's uh, L.A., uh, and I believe L.A. is number two in the league, uh, at the best at rush chances against. They don't give up a lot of rush chances against. Mm -hmm. And Edmonton loves to play that rush game. Yeah. Yeah. And Edmonton loves to control the puck. And this is what I think is you put offense against defense, the best on best, and these two teams are pretty good at both. Right. I always go with the defense. And that's yeah. why I think the Los Angeles Kings are going to be a real thorn on the side. Yeah, right. of and, the they're, and they're dangerous enough themselves. Oh, they generate they, a good bit on the other side of the yeah. puck. I really like score. your point, Reader. Uh, the stick on the ice. It's a great discipline, and it's twofold, really, right? One, of course, you may be able to strip a puck with the physical stick, but just having it on the ice in and around another player, you're influencing. You're kind of taking a lane away. You don't want to gamble if you're the puck carrier. That stick is there. There's a good chance I can't make that pass. So you're influencing, if not turning the puck over with the yeah. stick. It's twofold. Second period that game, most of those plays were a second period. L.A. was was perfect in the game. They won a 3-1, more yeah. with all three goals, yeah. and it was... Uh, I'm like, want to see that tonight. And this, they've only played twice. LA's won both games. They play two more times the rest of the season. Yeah. And yeah. chances are uh, they'll play, it could be a first round matchup, and it could be a very difficult, very difficult. It takes, run. It takes a crazy attention to detail, oh, as you pointed yeah. out, yeah. To, to bottle up weapons like Dry and McDavid, like this group has to this point this year. That's, why, that's why we had what? McDavid, one goal? Yeah. Two games? Dry Sidle, no points. Zero at points, all. points yeah. Yeah. in two games. And, yeah. uh, that's why I'm staying up late to watch this one. Yeah, I, well, 